I don't know how good he is because he hasn't really faced a real fighter yet. It's not his fault. He signs a fight Tommy Fury. Oh. Jake Paul is having a spectacular meltdown after being critiqued by experts. It's the kind of chaos that's hard to ignore for weeks. He's been flooding Instagram, hyping himself up as if he's about to retire Mike Tyson, a man who's been boxing for 40 years, double Jake's age. The absurdity of it all is almost comical, as Paul seems convinced he's on the brink of a major career milestone. Watching his antics unfold is both fascinating and cringeworthy, leaving many wondering just how far he's willing to go to keep his bravado alive amidst the mounting skepticism. The problem is, you are beating up on dudes who don't box. They're not boxers. They the experts are coming for Jake Paul, and they're not holding back. Every single one has stepped up to call him out on his nonsense, shredding him without mercy. If you're somehow still on Jake's side, you might want to reconsider watching what's about to unfold. It's going to be brutal, so... Why all the sudden roasts? It all started with Jake's recent arrest at his vacation house, which sent shockwaves through the media. But honestly, are we even surprised anymore? This isn't the first time Jake has found himself in hot water. His antics have become so predictable that the expert critiques feel almost inevitable with his over-the-top bravado and a penchant for controversy. It seems like Jake has made himself an easy target. The question now is whether he'll rise above the chaos or continue to spiral further into the frenzy he's created. Wait. Jake Paul seems to breathe controversy. It's like his default setting. He managed to post bail faster than he can tweet. But the real fallout is to his already shaky public image. If Jake thought he could brush this arrest under the rug like one of his Twitter feuds, he's in for a rude awakening. The experts wasted no time diving into this mess. With every boxing analyst, fighter, and promoter who once gave him even a smidgen of credibility now ready to unload, no one is rushing to his defense. And there's certainly no moment of. Let's give Jake the benefit of the doubt instead. It feels like everyone had their I told you so moments locked and loaded. Just waiting for him to slip up. And slip up he did. His arrest has provided further evidence that Jake Paul isn't serious about boxing a sentiment many have harbored. But now it feels undeniable. It's as if the boxing community was just biding its time for him to mess up so they could finally say it out loud. Jake's entire boxing career has been more of a side hustle to his chaotic, drama-filled life. To make matters worse, this isn't just a legal issue. It's about respect. And in Jake's case, it highlights the glaring lack of it when experts and the voices of boxing don't even bother to defend you. That's a clear sign your reputation is on life support. His arrest is the final nail in the coffin for anyone who ever took him seriously as a fighter, ironically. Jake has always thrived on attention and controversy he lives for the drama, but this time, his antics have backfired in a way even he can't spin. Instead of being remembered for his knockouts or victories, Jake is increasingly becoming the poster child for immaturity and lack of discipline. Eddie Hearn, a major figure in boxing promotion, didn't waste any time after Jake's arrest to lay into him. His brutal roast of Jake was swift and relentless, showcasing just how little sympathy the boxing community has left for him. Hearn has long been vocal about Jake's so-called boxing career, and this latest incident has only fueled his criticism. In the end, Jake's penchant for drama may have finally caught up with him, leaving him scrambling to reclaim his image while the boxing world watches with a mix of disbelief and schadenfreude as the fallout continues. It's becoming increasingly clear that the attention he craves is morphing into a heavy burden he might struggle to bear. There's absolutely no way he can, he can beat a world champion and become world champion. But Eddie Hearn took his critique of Jake Paul to a whole new level, laying it all out without a filter. In Hearn's eyes, Jake is merely a wannabe with delusions of becoming a boxing champion. He didn't sugarcoat his assessment, going straight for the jugular. Hearn emphasized that Jake's constant antics outside the ring are sealing his fate, from trash-talking to his recent arrest. These shenanigans are trashing any credibility Jake thought he had as a boxer. Hearn's brutal honesty highlights just how far Jake's reputation has fallen in the eyes of the boxing community, leaving little room for sympathy or support. I don't know how good he is because he hasn't really faced a real fighter yet. It's not his fault. He signed to fight Tommy Fury. Fight, Tommy Fury. Fight, uh, when someone is respected as Eddie Hearn speaks out, it's not something to take lightly. Hearn has worked with actual champions fighters who have dedicated years to perfecting their craft to him. Jake Paul's behavior is the complete opposite of what it takes to reach the top. Hearn even went so far as to compare Jake to those boxers who spend their entire lives dreaming of becoming heavyweight champions but never get close to achieving it. He essentially called Jake's dreams of boxing glory just as absurd. Let's be real. When a figure of Hearn's stature makes such statements, they deserve serious consideration. This isn't just some random troll throwing shade on Twitter, it's Eddie Hearn, a man who has witnessed it all in the boxing world, openly declaring Jake's entire career a joke. This level of critique highlights just how far Jake has strayed from being taken seriously in the sport. I don't believe you will ever get close to being a world-class fighter. The drama escalates as Eddie Hearn didn't just critique Jake Paul's boxing skills, 
he targeted his entire persona, according to Hearn, Jake's obsession with controversy. Immature behavior and recent arrest prove he's more interested in being a circus sideshow than a serious athlete, in Hearn's eyes. Jake is just a loudmouth distraction who will never reach the top of the sport. When a respected figure like Hearn declares that someone will never be a champion, it hits hard. And it doesn't stop there. Stephen A. Smith also stepped in, ready to deliver his own brutal critique right to Jake's face, known for his bluntness. Smith looked Jake dead in the eye and straight up questioned his courage. If you thought Hearn's remarks were harsh, Smith's direct approach adds another layer to the relentless scrutiny Jake is facing in the boxing world. Look pretty average because Gibb was terrible. Why is Jake Paul so dead set on fighting Mike Tyson of all people? Stephen A. Smith voiced what everyone was thinking but hadn't dared to say, what on earth is Jake doing targeting one of the most dangerous boxers in history? Smith, with his deep understanding of athletes, wasn't just throwing casual shade, he launched a full-on interrogation of Jake's decision-making. He pointed out that Jake has never faced a legitimate boxer, yet here he is, chasing a match with Tyson. It's a baffling strategy that raises serious questions about Jake's judgment and intentions in the boxing world. Smith's critique underscores the absurdity of the situation. As he emphasizes the glaring disconnect between Jake's ambitions and his actual experience, in pursuing a fight with a legendary figure like Tyson, Jake risks exposing himself as more of a spectacle than a serious contender in the sport. Nothing else is in shape. Now, I'll give Jake Paul credit for this. At least he's in the ring with a boxer, as opposed to a striker or somebody who's pretending to be a boxer but really isn't, or a basketball player or somebody like that. I give him credit because he's going to step into the ring, and when he steps into the ring, it's going to be against an actual... Jake Paul had nothing substantial to say in response to Stephen A. Smith's direct questioning no witty comeback, just the same overconfident bravado we've seen countless times. It's one thing to act tough, but when someone like Smith is challenging your courage to your face and you can't deliver a decent answer, you start to look like you're in way over your head. That's exactly the impression Jake gave off, like someone who has bitten off more than he can chew. But Smith wasn't done there. He went even further, suggesting that Jake is seriously underestimating. Mike Tyson, and that's putting it lightly, we're talking about Tyson, a fighter whose power and aggression are still terrifying, even at his age. Yet Jake seems to treat this potential matchup as just another casual attention grabber. Smith pointed out the obvious. Jake is not prepared for the level of destruction that Tyson can unleash. It's starting to look like Jake is so caught up in his own hype that he fails to recognize the reality of facing a boxing legend. This disconnect could cost him dearly as it reveals just how out of his depth he truly is. Clip Boxers. Nate Robinson was a basketball player. Ben Askren came out there and looked like with a pose, looking like he Jake LaMotta. He was 19 and one in the UFC, but he was never a boxer. He was a grappler. And Tyrone yeah, Woodley's and a striker. Was... At this point, Stephen A. Smith's takedown only added to the mounting doubts surrounding Jake Paul. Sure, Jake has won a few fights, but none were against real boxers. Now, he thinks he can take on Mike Tyson? It's reckless, plain and simple. Smith's direct confrontation was brutal laying everything out in front of Jake without hesitation, faced with such scrutiny. Jake had no real defense for pursuing a fight with Tyson, only his overinflated ego to lean on. This lack of a solid rationale only underscores how out of touch he seems with the reality of the boxing world. You are beating up on dudes who don't box. Not KSI has never shied away from criticizing Jake Paul. And after Jake's arrest, he ramped up his attacks more than ever. This rivalry goes beyond the usual banter, it's deeply personal, with KSI unleashing his most pointed jabs, making it clear that he won't hold back. No, no, Jake Paul lost. <laughs> lost to Tommy Fury. The bad blood between KSI and Jake Paul runs deep, dating back to KSI's showdown with Logan Paul, Jake's older brother, that fight ignited the rivalry. But KSI has always reserved a special kind of disdain for Jake. Following Jake's recent arrest, KSI didn't hold back, he was ready to verbally knock Jake out. His latest roast was nothing short of savage, piling on the criticism as Jake's credibility continues to wane, with Stephen A. Smith also questioning Jake's decisions. The mountain of doubt surrounding him only grows. Sure, Jake has won a few fights, but none were against legitimate boxers. Now he thinks he can take on Mike Tyson. That's reckless, plain and simple. KSI is clearly enjoying the moment, further highlighting Jake's precarious position in the boxing world.